Hi, this is Natalia Mitova from the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Join tool to combine two data sources in Alteryx. This is a very important and commonly used technique in Alteryx, and it works in the same way as a VLOOKUP in Excel. It will allow you to combine two data sources based on one or more common fields, which will result in a wider table with enriched data. Let's jump to Alteryx to see an example. I have two files here that I want to combine. The first one is a sales table containing typical transactional fields such as order ID, customer ID, order date, and so on. The second file contains a list of orders that customers have returned. So you can see here the order ID field is common in both files, in returns and in sales. And I can use it to combine my data. So I'm going to drag a join tool on my canvas. You can find the join tool in the join category at the top. And now I'm going to connect the two files to the left and the right input anchors of the join tool. It doesn't really matter which way around you do it here. And now in the configuration, I'm going to leave join by specific fields selected as I want to use my order ID field to merge my data here. Under the left drop down, I'm going to select order ID. And this pre selects order ID from the right table, the returns table in this case, because it has exactly the same name. If it didn't, you can just click on the drop down and select your correct field from here. If you had a more complex data source, you may want to select multiple fields to join. I'm going to run this workflow now and explore what we have underneath each of those output anchors. This is also displayed here in this Venn diagram visual on the left hand side. So starting with the J anchor, this is where we have our joined records. So all orders from the sales table, which have a match in the returns table. You can see in the results, we have our original six uh, sales fields and the two fields from the uh, returns table next to them, giving us a wider and more comprehensive table. Under the L output anchor, we have all of the sales orders, which didn't find match in the returns table. So these are all items that customers bought and kept. You can see that we only have the six original sales fields in here. And last but not least, under the R anchor, we have zero records in this case, which is expected because a customer can't return an item if they didn't buy it in the first place. So all returned order IDs should match to the sales table which is the case here under the J anchor. If this wasn't the case in the real business scenario, you may want to double check your data is correct. Another thing you may have noticed in the configuration on the left hand side is that the join tool has an inbuilt select inside it. It shows you which data source your fields are coming from, the left or the right. And you can remove certain fields you don't need for your analysis. For example, here I'm going to remove the order ID from the right table because this is a field that is already contained in the sales table. So let's run this. The J anchor once again, we now have seven fields and clean data source with no duplicate columns. So this is just one example of how you can use the join tool to combine two data sources. But if you would like to see more, click on the join tool at the top and open an example. You can run this workflow and see more examples supplied by Alteryx. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you found it useful. Please click on the like button below and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Also, do check out our latest uploads and related videos displayed on the screen.